Yo, yo, yo. So, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, kind of just going to wing this, do it off the cuff. Uh, I am going to be doing a box review for Warhammer Underworlds Rivals of the Mirrored City. Ooh, oh, oh, there's the camera right there. Oh, yeah, see, I'm still here. But I'll hide behind the box for a second. Anyways, yeah, so uh, I really enjoy Underworlds. Painted a few warbands so far. Uh, I want to collect a lot more of them. So I picked this up nearby. It sold out like instantly. Like I was really surprised how quickly it sold out. Everyone's fear mongering about Underworlds dying, but uh, I think it's more popular than people give it credit for. I mean, maybe it's just a location based thing, but at least near me, it seems very popular. Uh, this seemed like a really good deal. It's four warbands for $102 Canadian after the 15% uh, discount at my local store. Comes with Molly's Mob. Spike Claw Swarm, Thorns of the Briar Queen, Thorns of the Briar Queen, and Zarbag's Gits. So, starting off, I will review the box. What we have here is a nice box. It's got some artwork, square corners, nice edges, good description of all the models in it. Five stars. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do the actual box review. So, I'm going to put it down here. So it looks like we got all of our sprues in here laid out nicely. This looks to be Molig's Mob. Big chunky boy. I actually didn't realize his base was this big. Sculpts are nice. Dark blue plastic. I like all the mushrooms. They come on actually funny bases. Look at that. They're kind of like rounded here. Pretty good scenic bases. He's got some like strange looking rocks here. There's definitely like old sculpts, but yeah. So I think he's got a bat and a mushroom and some kind of stalagmite. Very nice, very nice, very good. Parts look like they're fairly sane. This one is Zarbag's Gits, and it has a lot of minis. This has. Got nine gets in it. That is a lot of gets. I won't lie to you. This is the main reason. These two here are the main reason I bought this box. I really like get gets gloom spike gets. I've been just eyeing up greedily as an army that I'm going to start, but I'm just absolutely buried at stormcast. So hmm, there's a little bit of plastic on there. There's a few little plastic filaments hanging on here, but I'm just absolutely buried in stormcast. So. I uh, don't have the money or the time to start a Gits Army yet, but I will one day, and this may be the start of it, so stay tuned. Next, we got the Night Haunt ones. This looks pretty good. One, two, three, four, seven. Pretty good. I mean, there's a high mini counts in these warbands. I'm going to say seven from the Night Haunt ones. These look so spindly. It's my first interaction with any type of night haunt, and these look like they would literally just like snap instantly the second I touch with my large, meaty ape-like ape-like hands. Um, yeah, pretty cool sculpts. I like them. I mean, these are all older models, but they look quite nice. I mean, they can't be that old, right? Because I don't think Underworld's that old. Maybe a few years old, right? So they're definitely like modern era, but just not like. Thunderstrike Stormcast Modern. Finally, under here. Oh, whoa. How did the Skaven get under that box? It's a weird packaging thing. Here are the Skaven. We got, looks like, oh, more of these filaments. Look at It's just like from the molding process. It's no big deal. It's like little plastic filaments hanging around here. Uh, some cool little rack guys. Very scenic. This guy's like jumping or something. Yeah, that's cool. I like that uh, sort of like archway structure. Cool poses. Modern Skaven. I mean, I, we can guess that the modern Skaven will be something like this as well. These are honestly already pretty good Skaven sculpts here. These are not the 1993 Skaven sculpts that they're going to be replacing in six months. But yeah, for now, that's that. And now we got a pack of cards, and this thing is chunky. Let me see what we got in here. Just gonna open this up. Try not to 
cut the box because the card's coming in a nice little box here. There we go. Open up the card box. And we should have up to date cards for all of these war bands, which we do. And do they have neutral decks as well? Oh my god, that is a lot of cards. And big cards. One, two, three, four. Nope, just four regular decks. Card packaging is weird. It's kind of awkward. They're like slipped together. But yeah, so it looks like it's just the cards for the up to date decks. I'm not going to review the cards because that would take a lot longer. This is going to be a fairly quick video, but pack those back up for now just because I don't want them to get all separated. And finally, we got the instructions, which I think is just pretty standard against the workshop instructions. Looks like most of the skaven are in like two pieces. Molag himself is in about two, three, seven plus a base, or just seven including the base. The gifts are all like, the gifts are mostly one piece actually. It's mostly just a get with the exception of a couple of little squigs. And then finally, we got the attachments for Moloch's model, which seem to have an actual unreasonable amount of pieces for how small these minis actually are. It's got like four pieces, and it's just a piece of a lump of plastic. Let me just see the night haunts as well. And yeah, night haunts, pretty spindly, two pieces plus a base each. Yeah, so there you have it. I'll be building these on stream at some point and painting them up. Pretty nice box, honestly. I think these warbands, I mean, if you're to buy an, ind an individual warband here in Canada, it's like about $50. So I know these are older warbands, but still, they're selling warbands of this era nearby for like, again, $50, like basically full price. So I think four warbands for... $102 is a pretty good deal. It's about 25 bucks a warband. And painting value, I mean, I get nine gits in this one. I mean, just huge painting value, plus a large model with Molog. Not bad at all. Anyways, there you have it. That's my first sort of freeform uh, ranty video where I just talk into the camera and look at bits of plastic. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I've just started making videos and I'm trying to sort of figure out what kind of videos I enjoy making and stuff like that. So yeah, you can let me know in the comments below if you want to see stuff like this or more painting content. I've been making tutorials, stuff like that. Anyway, appreciate you checking it out.